Hello to all of you out there. I hope things are going as well as they can be. Offline, I'm Mike Driscoll. Online, I'm Midnight Blackpaw. I'm some guy in a weird Hawaiian shirt and trying to make something new. <laughs> if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification if you want more content. If you don't like it, don't enjoy it, there's a button. Click that. I respect your opinion. I'm going to be trying something new, which is different from winging it. When I'm winging it, I've already made it before, but I'm trying a different twist. This, I've never made this, ever, in any way, shape, or form, other than the most basic. And I'll see how it turns out. Let's go on this adventure together. So, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making an alcoholic milkshake peanut butter and coffee with a slam of Irish cream that's salty caramel flavored okay <laughs> let's get this going I'm going to start loading this up with some ice. <laughs> some extra cold. I'm going to go ahead and toss in our ice cream. I think four scoops should manage. One. Careful not to fall through the window. And two. Three. Side note, the date recording this is Father's Day, so call this the Father's Day Peanut Butter Coffee Shake. Next phase will require shot glass. go with dry our hands for a better grip on the bottle. Two shots peanut butter whiskey. One. Two. preferred brand screwball it's not a commercial for screwball I just like their brand which is a reminder you see I'm working with hard liquors and liqueurs be of legal drinking age wherever you are and drink responsibly if you are of legal drinking age that wink was not a sideways wink that was just you know drink responsibly and add some Kahlua next. Two shots. Next, I will include some coffee powder for making mixed frappuccino type drinks. And it should have. Where's the damn scoop? Are you kidding me? Oddly enough, 
<laughs> it doesn't come with a coffee scoop of any sort. And it does not seem that I have any available crap at all. I'll just use my giant tablespoon type spoon. One, two, three, and four. I'm going to add Skippy peanut butter. One scoop of this. On to the last of the core. Actually, let me give this a quick shake to make sure that it's nice and blended. Salted caramel, Irish cream. Last about about that much milk. Close this up. Are you kidding me? No way. Oh, duh. Consistency is not quite, not quite where I want it. So, to increase the thickness, I'm gonna cut it. Another scoop of ice cream. That should do it. Works. 
how this pours. Now the taste test. Hmm. God, that's good. By all that is right and creamy and salty. And vanilla flavored. This is so good. I'm trying not to drink it all right now. I'll give myself a brain freeze. No, I don't want a brain freeze. Oh. Oh. Yes, this is, this is a tasty beverage. This is so good. The creaminess, the saltiness, the sweetness, all of it's come together in just the right combination of flavors and textures. It has excellent mouthfeel. <laughs> There's <laughs> always something kind of perverted sounding about that to me. I don't know why. <laughs> but this is good. This is good. You want to try it at home. You know, make it according to your preferred thickness. You got the basics. And that guideline that I just gave out. If you do it exactly the way I did, you're going to want to throw that extra scoop of ice cream in. Oh, good gravy. That's awesome. I haven't made a blended drink like this that was this tasty in a very, very long time. Very, very long. Oh, gosh, this is good. Okay, so I'm not going to finish this on camera because that would be weird and time-consuming. So... Enjoy your drinking stuff and everything. And we'll see you in the next video. I got him.